Welcome to Easy Science. Let us learn about the process of excretion in human. Metabolism is the summation of biochemical reactions taking place in living body. Cellular respiration that produces carbon dioxide, water and energy and protein catabolism in liver that produces urea and uric acid are examples of metabolism. Excretory materials are waste products produced during metabolic process. Carbon dioxide, water vapor, urea, uric acid, salts, water and sodium chloride are some excretory materials produced in human body. Excretion is the removal of excretory products produced during metabolism from the body. In human body, excretion takes place mainly by three methods. Lungs release the exhaled air which contain carbon dioxide and water vapor. Kidney produces urine which contains urea, uric acid, salts, water and creatinine. And skin releases the sweat which contains urea, uric acid, sodium chloride and water. But fecal matter is not an excretory substance because digestion is not a chemical reaction. Anyhow, bile pigments released with fecal matter are excretory substances. Human urinary system. The main parts of human urinary system are pair of kidneys, pair of ureters, urinary bladder and urethra. Systemic artery supplies blood to the system and renal artery supplies blood to the kidneys. Inferior vena cava removes the blood from the system and renal veins remove the blood from the kidney. Kidney is the main organ carrying out nitrogenous excretion. The main parts of the kidney are capsule, cortex, pyramids, pelvis and ureter. Renal artery supplies the blood and renal vein removes the blood from the kidney. Nephron is the structural and functional unit of the kidney. There are about 1 million of nephrons present in a kidney. The location of the nephrons within the cortex and medulla of the kidney is shown in the diagram. The main parts of the nephron are Bowman's capsule, proximal convoluted tubule, descending limb, loop of Henle, ascending limb and collecting duct. Renal artery which supplies the blood forms a network called glomerulus inside the Bowman's capsule. It further divides to form the blood capillaries and the capillaries join to form the renal vein which removes the blood from the nephron. Urine formation takes place by mainly three processes. Ur ultrafiltration, selective reabsorption and secretion are the three processes. Ultrafiltration The renal artery entering into the nephron is called as afferent arteriole. Afferent arteriole divides to form glomerulus which is a network of blood capillaries. Inside the glomerulus there is high blood pressure because the blood capillary exiting called as efferent arteriole has less diameter compared to that of afferent arteriole. Due to this high blood pressure blood is filtered through the wall of glomerulus and inner wall of Bowman's capsule. This process is called ultrafiltration. Then the glomerular filtrate is formed and it is collected at the cavity of Bowman's capsule. The glomerular filtrate is almost similar to blood plasma. It contains water, glucose, amino acids, drugs, vitamins, ions, hormones and U. Plasma proteins and blood cells are not filtered here. Selective reabsorption. Most of the constituents are absorbed again into the blood capillaries while glomerular filtrate moves along the nephron. 90% water, all the glucose, amino acids, vitamins, part of the salts, small amount of urea and uric acid and drugs are reabsorbed. Composition of the glomerular filtrate changes and becomes urine and it is released to the collecting duct and then to the pelvis. In a healthy adult, in one minute, 120 cm cube glomerular filtrate is formed 
but 95% of it is reabsorbed. In diabetes patients, glucose is not totally reabsorbed. So in the urine, there will be a small portion of the glucose available. Secretion. Some materials in blood enter into the tubules of nephron. Hydrogen ions, potassium ions, ammonium ions, creatinine, drugs and vitamin B are those materials which are secreted into the nephron. Removal of urine from the body. Urine is released to the pelvis. From there it is transported along the ureters and collected in the bladder. It is temporarily stored in the bladder and released from the urethra according to the need. Urine contains 96% water, 2% salts, 2% urea and trace amounts of uric, uric acid and creatinine. Diseases related to human urinary system. Renal failure. Kidneys fail to function due to weakening of filtration process in the nephrons. The main causes are infections by the microbes, heavy metals like mercury and arsenic, medicines and carbon tetrachloride. The symptoms are edema and high blood pressure due to accumulation of the salts. As a result, pH of the blood will decrease. Acute renal failure may occur within 8 to 14 days if we fail to take immediate treatment. Blood is filtered through a machine by dialysis method if such acute renal failure takes place. Nephritis Swelling of the kidney due to infections and toxins is called as nephritis. It affects the glomerulus and uriniferous tubules. As a result of nephritis, volume of blood flow decreases, so urine formation also decreases and as a result waste materials remain in the body. If filtering is affected by this nephritis, red blood cells may pass with the urine. And if proteins are also filtered here, strokes may occur. Calculi in kidney and bladder or kidney stones. It is formed due to crystallization of calcium oxalate in kidney and the bladder. The stones can be removed by using drugs or by doing surgery. Also, the stones can be crushed by lithotripsy technique, which is applying laser rays or ultrasound waves. By following proper feeding habit, drinking required volume of water, and by passing urine on time, these conditions can be avoided. Hope you all enjoyed the lesson. Meet you all in another video.